It's your birthday, birthday in here, in me tonight. tonight. Girl, it's your birthday, birthday in here, in me tonight. tonight. Give it to me, go, 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 go shot it. It's your B-day. You and your girls taking shots like a relay. I know y'all only come around when the bottles out. Like when I see her, I'm like, oh, she's got a really nice personality. Nah, it's like when I see her, I look at the frame. You know, you look at a book and you look at the cover first. They say don't judge a book by the cover, but the cover is the reason why you picked it up in the first place. So I don't know what they're talking about. It kind of go either way. Me personally, I'm a booty man, so I'm gonna look at the booty. I'm gonna watch you walk away. I'm gonna watch you come back. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I, I'd say the first thing that I notice about girl is like what she's wearing. Like that's a that's a big thing for me, and that's definitely a big turn on or turn off. Is like is how the girl presents herself, and like is she fashionable? Is she up to date? Is she always gonna look good? That's like that's what I care about the most. In in terms of like when I first see a girl, so yeah, that's me. Man, I think it's a face first to be honest. I mean, everybody like to say like beauty isn't everything; it's a personality. But when you initially like somebody or is interested in someone, it's always about how they look because they haven't said anything yet. So I think um, I first look at the face first, and when they walk away, you know I gotta <laughs> pick the booty. Like I just got to. So if that's nice and that all that other stuff is nice, uh, really what she wearing? I don't think like it's a big problem with me because like you can improve like what she wears. Way like try to find ways to make gestures towards like. Oh, I think you look nice in these or something like that. I mean, I work at finish line, so if she wants to look up on shoes, you know, I got it. Or she get me or something else. <laughs> See, now I feel bad because all my answers, my answers seem shallow compared to y'all's. I'm a but like, At hey, the no, same time, I'm not person. a shallow person in general, but I'm saying like if we have a preference in terms of like body-wise, I'm a booty man. But like, of course, you need a pretty face. And of course, I don't want to look dusty when they come <laughs> to me. You know, some things you can't really improve. Like the way a girl thinks, you can improve that. The way a girl dresses, you can improve that. Like the way she's shaped, you can kind of improve that. But like their face, I don't like a lot of makeup. So like, personally, like, I try to shy away from that. But she naturally already looks beautiful. And like, I feel like stuff like that, you can't really change. It's like coaching a player with speed. You can't really coach speed. You can only hope that they have it. Uh, I think it's more of like, obviously you're going to look at how she looks first because you only get attracted based on what you're interested in. If I'm not attracted based on how you look, then it's not going to go further. I mean, we're all open to being friends with people, which is always a good thing. But at the end of the day, I'm going to look and see how you're looking. And then who you surround yourself with is another big thing. Like, if the people you attract are just not good people in a sense, then it's not something I want to get into. I want to say his answer was very real. But another thing is like, with females, kind of like, I don't like females who are overly friendly. Like, if I'm talking to you and you're in every guy's face, what made me so different that you chose to talk to me? Or are you talking to them too? See, I, don't, I just don't want a girl who treats like everybody the same as me. I think I should be put on a pedestal if we're talking. Like, it should be different. What you offer me, you shouldn't be offering other people. If we had a party or like a gathering in an apartment or something, and you fixing everybody ice cream instead of just fixing me ice cream, Something small like that kind of bothers me, and I know it's petty, but it all means something in the end. Like, a girl who treats her guy different from other guys definitely has a respect. I think you judge it based on who gets the sprinkles if they're looking at ice cream. If you get the sprinkles, <laughs> you know you're the one. But yeah. I just want the caramel on top, like, I don't want it. Nah, but really, no guy wants a girl that he has to share. So, be sure that you, if you want a man, focus your attention on him. I know we just completely got off topic. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But hey. Hey, you do your homework in public or read a book in public? I want to come talk to you. 
because I got things going for myself too. It's all about how you carry yourself. So like, let's just be honest. No guy is thinking about a future with a girl that he found twerking at a party. Okay, so if we catch you reading a book, we got oh you got a future. Here. But if you twerking at a party, just expect what you like what you promote right now. You you promote one night stand, so that's basically what you're gonna get from a guy. Yeah. He's not looking for no intimate conversation from a girl throwing it around at a party. I mean, would you? Enjoy talking to a guy who's a cute dog and he's licking on every girl's butt. I like, I think I like more natural because like all that beat stuff, it kind of kills me. Like, you ever seen Lil Kim? Like how she looks down? It's scary. Who's Lil Kim? She's like a rapper. Uh, you see this? Yeah. 